first program I ever wrote was when I got a computer printed out in the screen, Hello World. So what we did was that we used a program called Just Basic in order to code a, a Mad Lib story which leaves out certain words and we used it to present it to first graders. First graders now were learning about verbs, nouns, adjectives and uh, this program helped both them and us because they started, uh, they were better uh, with their vocabulary and we learned to listen to our clients and uh, respond to their feedback and make our programs better. First graders are learning all about reading, We're learning about important parts of reading, like nouns, words, and adjectives. So today has been a really great experience for our students to come up and practice putting things in like people, place, and things, describing words, and even action words. It's been a really exciting experience for the kids. They've really enjoyed interacting with high school students and also working with the computers and the technology skills that they've been learning as well. It was really hard to see our perspectives versus the little kids' perspectives because all they think about now is like toys and games. On the math lab, uh, the kids had to answer some questions and one of them was what their name was. And they got really surprised when they saw their name on the story and it was funny for them. Be able to actually come up with an idea and then see it in your hands and then be able to press a button and have it be in millions of people's hands. Uh, I mean, I think we're the first generation in the world that's really ever had that kind of experience. Programmers of tomorrow are the wizards of the future. You know, you're going to look like you have magic powers compared to everybody else. I think it's amazing. It's, I think it's the closest thing we have to a superpower. Great coders are today's rock stars. That's it.